Good afternoon. Yeah, this is uh, the, a regular meeting of the Stoneville Heights in the Stoneville Heights community home of the Auburn Housing Authority. Would you please stand for the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, if you're able. <laughs> I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The first item on the agenda is the public comment. Is there anyone that needs to make a, a comment? I would like to comment on the way the uh, gentlemen that take care of the sidewalks and the driveways and that, they have done an exceptional job. They always do a good job, but this was a tough one, and they did a terrific job at the package arc. Yes. And so I'd like to say thank you to them. Thank you, Alex. Anybody else have any comment? Discussion and vote uh, to accept the state capital plan as presented. Okay, on this, um, on the capital plan, we actually had Barry Naden from RCAT. He's somebody that the, the state has actually hired a group to help us with procurement for the state projects, mainly under $50,000. So he came in and he does a physical needs assessment each year on our properties, and he identifies where he thinks that our capital money should be spent, like, and he kind of prioritizes the needs. So he came in last week and he presented the items that he felt that we should work on in this next fiscal year. And he actually spells it out like in a five-year plan. That's great. We're allotted a certain amount of money and he kind of comes up with the work items and then he kind of divides it between the developments so that Auburn Heights gets something, Packachog in the front gets something, and Pheasant Court gets something out of the pool of money. So in this upcoming year, he's looking at the, um, we're still trying to replace the bathroom vents, but they upped the amount of money because it was a problem with the bids came in too high the last time we went out to bid and they felt that they didn't put enough money into it. Mm -hmm. So they changed it and went from like 22 up to 34. Because they figured with the cost of the vent itself, which we're going to use a mm -hmm. Panasonic vent, yep. but with the cost of the electrician and the permits and whoever else they need to bring in mm -hmm. for HVAC, because we have to have professionals install these vents. Mm -hmm. So he upped the money to 34.5. And then we're still doing window replacement up at Packachog on the state side. Every year for the last three years, we've been replacing windows. So we're still, so he put in a certain amount, he put almost $11,000 into window replacement for the front. And then the toilets, we want to do some um, toilets in Pheasant Court. We did get a grant and we, he w wanted to make sure that between the cost of the toilets themselves and the cost of the plumber to come in that we had enough money. So he did allocate 9500 mm -hmm. just in case we needed that for right. the plumber. The state gave us the money for the toilets right. and this way we'll have the money to pay the plumber mm -hmm. so it doesn't come out of operating budget. And okay. are those the high-rise toilets? Yes. Yes. They gave us a specific toilet they want us to use. Okay. So we have to go with that mm -hmm. toilet. But he figured if we don't need it, then we just roll over the money into the... Something else. Right. Mm -hmm. But this way we're not going to be out $9,500 right. right. for something that we, yeah. you know, weren't foreseeing. Good. And then they put in flooring because we end up having big uh, flooring costs between the carpet in the linoleum in the kitchen mm -hmm. as the residents move because what we're finding is most of our residents that are leaving us right now are long-term residents. 
mm -hmm. 22 years, yes. and they may not have had a, a, a rug for 10, or, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we're finding that it's costing us a lot of money for flooring. So they built in some money to help us offset the cost, so that doesn't come out of our operating budget. So that's what they put in for 2018. Then we're going to start further down, 18 to 19, we have sidewalk repairs. Now a lot of the sidewalks, when we did the um, conversion to federal, we used the state sidewalks and they became federal sidewalks. Right. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> yes. so now we have federal sidewalks mm -hmm. and federal parking lot, which is great. Mm -hmm. But if you go past the main clump that we used, to get get us our access right yes. our frontage, mm -hmm. but when you go into the closer to the apartments, those sidewalks are really in need of repairs. Mm -hmm. And you know, with because of it's on farmland, it's very wet up there. There's a lot of seepage mm -hmm. and frost heaves, whatever. So we're going to look at put we put twenty seven hundred dollars into replacing sidewalks. Yep. in the front pack truck. Right. And then if for some reason that isn't enough, we've got asphalt repairs further down. But we'll kind of adjust as we go along, but we figured with 27000 that should give us a good start. Mm -hmm. Some of them have already been repaired, but right. it seems like no sooner do we repair them, we need to do it again right. Right. because of the way it is. And the frost heaves. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to start with roof, roof replacements in the front of pack job. We did the community room last year. Now we're going to start doing the buildings themselves. And they allocated $68,000 for that. We might not get all the buildings, but it's going to be a good start. <coughs> and then the stove hood vents down at Pinebrook, I mean Pheasant Court, we're going to do that. We've got roof replacements in Pheasant Court still to do. Half the development's been done, the other half hasn't been done. So we need to complete Pheasant Court. And then we put more flooring in. Then you, if you go down to the next year, we've got window replacement, asphalt repairs, stove hood vents for the 667, which is package up. We're going to start replacing the stove hood vents. We're going to start replacing the faucets in the kitchen, in the bathrooms at package up because we're finding that with the water being as hard as it is, mm -hmm. we're going through a lot of... It needs to go. Right. right, so we've built into that. And then window replacements, again, at Packachog in the front. And then flooring, again. And then you go down mm -hmm. to the next year after that, we're in 2020 to 2021. We've got bathroom upgrades at Auburn Heights. We've got window replacement. Packachog, stove replacement, Packachog, and replace the hallway flooring at Packachog. It's like once we have these things in this plan and it gets approved by the board and then approved by the state, then we can always move these things up as the need arises. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's already in a five year plan, it's already been approved by everybody. Right. These are the items that we've mm -hmm. identified. And this changes every year right. based upon, because you do one of these every single year. Mm -hmm. Based on the need. Based upon the need. Like we're having problems in some of the hallways, the tiles coming up on the floor. But mm -hmm. depending on how many hallways need to be done will dictate where this stays. Like if it's going to be a considerable amount, then obviously we're going to put it into the capital plan mm -hmm. as opposed to using the operating fund to cover the cost of it. It's all good. We're not really sure. I've got to get somebody in to tell us how much it would cost because you figure a lot of those floors, I think, are the original. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's 76, mm -hmm. 75, 76, so they're mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's really underneath there. I mean, you know what's no. there, but. No, but it, this is the thing. If it, it needs subflooring and all that, right. I mean, it's going to be expensive. And another thing I wanted to look at was replacing like the railings in some of the buildings, like some some of them I think have like, the all of them have at least one railing. On the stair railing. On the stair yeah. railings, but sometimes you need two 
Absolutely. in some places. Mm -hmm. Yes. It would make it easier for people that are right-handed to have, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If the railing isn't helping them, then it's useless. That's right. So right. we got to take a look at the railings, and I think that's going to be part of an ADA grant that I'm going to try to apply for. But it's something that we need to consider. I mean, the lighting in, in the front that done, and that we received a lot of compliments on that. We got that through a grant. And I'm still waiting to hear for an assessment on the heating system at Package Hub. We've been approved to get that done, yeah. and we're just waiting for a contractor. I'm hoping that the buildings were built better up there, and maybe they can attach the heating units to the building itself. Is this for the front or the back? Both both? Because the back was built. After it was built in the 90s. Yeah, 95. So I'd expect that to be better. But. 95, but we don't know him. Mm -hmm. With the low bid. I mean, remember right, they had that the facade on that thing? Oh, I know. The bricks yeah, were falling off. I know. The fake bricks. So yeah. who knows? Yeah. I mean, we ended up having to re-side that whole back. So... You can hope 95 would be better. But, you know. I would hope. But 75, you figure you have the bricks on the bottom. Yeah. Right. So they're going to have to figure out how to put those heating units. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how great it's going to look, but it's going to save us some serious money. We've noticed a significant mm -hmm. in our bills for Stone Mill, no payment due from National Grid. I mean, we still have to pay the solar company, yeah. but no payment due on a whole. You had a whole. That's plumb. fantastic. Yes. Yes. That was all a Stone Mill. We didn't owe any money. What kind of money are you paying out to the summer company? I know we're digressing, but I got one in here. It was sixty-eight hundred, mm -hmm. and it was wow. it was for two months. For here, it was for all of it. It was for Packachar and Stoneville. Big savings. Because we get we're saving huge money. I mean, I know these don't look the greatest, these little heat pump things, but between the solar credits and that, we're saving a lot of money. And then if I keep, oh, our water bills, we had to go back to 2012 because there were issues with how the water bills were put in. She couldn't believe that we paid what we paid for water. It was a lot. It was a lot yes. of money. So Betty had to go back to 2012 and look at all the water bills and recalculate them into the system to the state because we're going to be eligible for help from them with other things. Fantastic. They're going to try other things? with other things. Fantastic. Oh. I mean, she gave us toilets. I mean, she's look, going to look at the toilets at um, Packachock Village again to see why why are we spending so much money on water. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, that also affects sewer because well, and that's what the sewer and that's is based the thing. on. Sewer is based on that. So we're right. paying out huge money and it's a, it sent a red flag to the state. So they wanted us to go back in and verify all our numbers, which we did. So it's not it's not the dollar amount; it's the consumption rate. I think it's or both. Usage. I think it's they are looking at both. Yeah. She had to put the kilowatt hours for electric, yeah. all uh, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it, it's the whole deal. Yeah. She had to go back and do all of it. So it's not that the rates are you know the cost of the water is any higher than anybody else's. It's how much we use. I, I think it was a little bit of both, yeah, really? to be honest with you, because she didn't ask me just. The kilowatt, right. she wanted both to verify both amounts. Mm -hmm. So I figured, well, if it's a problem and we've sent her the corrected whatever, let's see what they can do to help us. Yeah, she's been great. she's been pretty helpful so far. Now, who is she? Yeah, I was just saying. Betsy Harper at DHCD. She's in charge of energy and. Is she? In, is that a new position? I don't think so. No. I think she she's been there for a couple couple of years, but um, she's been very very helpful to That's us. Good. So this is what we have to submit to the state if you vote to approve this. And just understand that if there are any changes to be made, then that's something an additional vote. Right, we have to amend any corrections. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, anybody have any questions on this? Are you ready to vote? I make a motion that we uh, vote to vote to 
Passes. We have a second. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Chloe passes. There's one thing I would ask about up at Package Arc is insulation. Cons you know how the in the living room the window juts out. Mm -hmm. It's very attractive. But you put your hand on top of that. Yeah, that was something you asked about. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. It, you can freeze you can freeze water by putting it on that. Yeah. Wow. Because there is I no insulation underneath there. And if you're sitting there at night, well, say um, six to seven feet away from it, you, you, you feel it on your legs that the air is cold, even though the heater is right underneath yeah. that. So the heat, the, um, the heat loss is, is going to be considerable. Well, Larry Weir Definitely. from Rise Engineering is going to come out and do another assessment to see where else we can save. So that's something I'll bring up with him. Oh, that and he can contact Mass Save. It's very definite is one there the because things. you put your hand on top of that and it's cold. But the heat it's like putting right it on a need, window. Does it need air space or anything? Mm -hmm. No, But he'll know. He's an engineer. Yes, right. But that's why I asked. So he will be coming out, Alice, and I'll ask him about that. Okay. You asked me that at the last meeting, but I forgot. <clears throat> so. That I will. That can he can handle that with the mass save. Okay, are we ready to move on? Mm -hmm. uh, discussion and vote to submit the certification of compliance. Now on this, every year you have to go into the state system, and you have to vote. Mm -hmm. um, what year the building was built, and they have all the different sections in the in the building, including uh, panel rooms, hot water tank room, closets, bathrooms, conference rooms. They're all they're all separate, and you have to go in and certify whether there's lead or not. But because our building, Packetchug Village was built in 75, 76, so that was before the lead paint law of 78. So we had a contractor come in and check for lead, remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he determined the only lead we had was in that bench that used to sit in front. Outside, yeah. Yep. That bench is now on the second floor garage. Nobody has access to it. So we do not have any lead paint at our developments. So I went in, I did Auburn Heights, I did um, Packachog Village, and I did Pheasant Court and certified to the state that we are in compliance. The residents do sign that lead paint form, you know, those blue pages yep, you every year. That. Yep, still do those blue pages every year. So you have to just vote that you know that we are in compliance, that we don't have lead, that I've gone in and I've updated the state system and I have to, I've already submitted these to the state. And the residents do get that blue tenant certification package every year, mm -hmm. and then they do sign that sheet. So the tenants are aware of what the lead paint laws contain. Good. That's good. Okay? Yes. So are you ready for the vote? Yep. Um, okay. Um, uh, can we have a motion, please? I would make a motion and we sign the. Uh, Certification as requested. Do we have a second? second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now you gotta leave. Wayne's gonna have to sign this even though he isn't here. So you're gonna sign underneath him, Roberta. Okay. Well, he's. Is yeah, he's here? gonna be on this first okay. line. I mean, I didn't copy these, but if, do you want anybody wants copies of these? No. I remember. If there's, if there's a problem, the state will kick, kick it back. But we're usually pretty consistent on this. And the rest, is it now me? No, director's, director's report. We have um, one apartment available at Packachog. Village. We had a long-time resident 
leave us. And it's going to be filled by a transfer from a second floor to a first floor. And then I'll house somebody in the second floor. The, um, we're going to have a vacancy at the end of this month in the back of package hog. And that'll come off the waiting list. But other than that, we're fully rented. Full. That's good. Wow. So we've been we've been busy. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. We we need to finish this oh, first. Uh, did, did you have anything else in your report? No. Okay. All right, Jeff. Well, look at that list. Yeah. And I noticed uh, at one time you mentioned something about countertops. The, the, this is for package Package That's what well, I thought. The, yeah. The countertops are on the federal side. Yeah. I couldn't read what it's at the top. I assumed it was it was package Yeah. This this is all the state yeah. joys. The yeah. federal the federal um, <clears throat> capital plan has countertops. Yeah. And the guys just haven't had the time with everything else to get. The the um, trailers in the back have countertops that are waiting to be installed. But they just haven't, oh, because they do the work themselselves, they're saving significant money. money. Yes. Well, they don't know what to do with especially with, with the snow. Weather. Plus, they did a lot of siding yeah. in Pheasant Court before the winter, so they've been they've been tied up. But mm -hmm. maybe once the if the weather warms up a little, we won't have as much snow removal. We did get a new tractor. The state gave us seventeen. Almost seventeen thousand dollars, and we bought a new John Deere tractor with it. It's going to have like a plow, like a snowblower thing. Yeah. But they need they needed it. But we won't get it till the end of the month. But that didn't come out of our money. That came from the state. That's great. And in the new budget guidelines, they're giving us ten thousand dollars towards computer equipment. Wow. Yeah. Everybody's getting a ten thousand dollar grant. To upgrade the. Isn't it amazing how for years they didn't provide anything? Nothing. And then all of a sudden you're getting gobs and gobs of dough. Yep. That's good. That's Every true. time we turn around, it's like, how great is this? It's so bizarre. And then on these on these state things, I can put in for administration fee, right? That's it's ten percent of whatever those things are. Mm -hmm. I can put in for administrative fee, mm -hmm. and that's how we're going to get our new truck. Like if any new yes. plows or any kind of equipment, equipment yeah. is going to come out of those administrative fees. But on some of those things, it's like ten thousand dollars. I'm like, whoo! -hoo. I mean, that's huge. Yes, but a lot of this too is due to the fact that our we have been upgrading our properties right along yeah. for several years now, and it, and it makes a big difference because they see that we're doing the work. And the residents see that we're doing the work, and it's important that we keep our properties up so that we don't have to do this year. That's why every we don't year. have a ton of money. We right. Don't. No, uh, but it is amazing that the state all of a sudden right. has come all through with all this money. Because for years they gave nothing. But you know what, Ian? The buildings were falling apart. I know. And the units were coming offline. I know. And the housing authorities couldn't rent the units. I know. So what was Look the point? Look over it. How many units they had to take offline? A ton. Tons. But we've been working at this. Every year. The only thing is, we, because we've been buying used trucks, yes, and now with the new registry of whatever, they're not going to pass inspection. Yeah. We're going to have a problem with the vehicles because of the amount of rot. And, yeah. I mean, they bumble along, but if they can't get an inspection sticker, it's not helping. That's right. You know what I mean? So we're going to have to look at buying new trucks, and that's why we never asked for these administrative fees in the past. But they recommended that I do that now. That Barry said, well, you know, let's do it. that's where you're going to get your money to buy your equipment. Why leave it on the table? You might as well take and it. Well, see, right. I always just rolled it over into one of the other items. And he says, don't do that anymore. He says, because you've got to build up a, a slush fund. Like a surplus. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas I just turned the money back into another repair. I didn't take the administrative fee. And he says, you can't do that anymore. You have to start taking that to um, replace the obsolete equipment that you have. So I said, OK. So that's, that's what great. we're going to do. That's great. And also, <clears throat> I think you deserve a, 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 you and the staff deserves a lot of credit 
for what has been done and what you continue to do. Absolutely. Thank you. And I think that is. Well, she's, that's what I said to staff, too. Yeah, I know. She's good. It's, she does, you know, looking up things and right. all that stuff. It's great. It's not like Betty anyway, so. Is there any so other? I put in a plug for Betty. Yeah. But Maureen is just as good. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Just as good. Are there any other um, member items that we need to discuss or that we would like to comment on? No, but can we go back to the first Tuesday of the month in February? Yes. In fact, I think that's what it is scheduled yeah, yeah. for. We need, to, we need to get back on track with yes. so that everybody knows up front when the meeting's going to be, and it's that's a heck right. of a lot easier for all Oh, for yes. Yes. Yep. I mean, January was a little tough because you had the wedding and the wedding, you knew the wedding was sick. But right. if we can get back to our regular... Scheduled right. meeting, I think it would be better for everybody. Absolutely. Any public comment? Being none, I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.